In this video, we'll talk about how to perform linear regression in Microsoft Excel. Now, if you want to follow along, there's a link to the sample file in the video description, as well as a link to an Excel course if you're interested in that. Now, linear regression helps us to model the relationship between variables. And let me give you an example of that. So we could use it to estimate sales, one variable, based on TV advertising spend, another variable. So let's say we spend $1,000 on TV ad spend. What would be our estimated sales? So oftentimes when we perform regression, we generate an equation. And in this case, it could look like this. So sales, what we're trying to predict or estimate, is equal to a y-intercept, 5.03 in this case, plus a coefficient times the input or the independent variable, in this case, ad spend. So if we were to spend $1,000 on ads, we could take that and multiply it by the coefficient, 3.64, and then take the result there and add 5.03, the y-intercept, to give us the estimated sales. Now let's go ahead and move over to Microsoft Excel and give this a shot. So in this data set, we're looking at the appraised prices of homes based on several factors. So in column D, you see the price per square foot of the home. And then to the left of that, you see the age of the home in years, the distance to the nearest train station in meters, and the number of nearby stores to that home. So A, B, and C are our independent variables. Those are our inputs. And D is our dependent variable, our output. It's what we're gonna to try to estimate in the future. So there's a few different ways to perform regression in Excel. And so the first one we're gonna try is helpful if you're doing simple linear regression, where you've got one input and one output. So what we wanna do here is go ahead and select column D by clicking D up above. That's our output, price per square foot. And then use control or command to also select column B. So we wanna estimate price per square foot based on the distance. And so what I'm gonna do now is go to the insert tab find the scatter plots, and in that scatter plot drop down, choose the first option. Now in this chart, what I see is on the y-axis is the price per square foot, and on the x-axis is the distance to the nearest train station. And what it looks like is as the property gets farther away from the train station, the price per square foot tends to go down. Now if I want to see the regression line for it, what I can do is right click a data point and then click on add trend line. So our intuition was right. It's this negative relationship. As distance goes up, price per square foot tends to go down. Now what's kind of cool here is that after you add the trend line, you should see some options available to you that appear under format trend line. And at the bottom, there's a couple of check boxes that are really helpful. If you click on display equation on the chart, you can also display the R squared. What you should see now is that regression equation. And so in that regression equation, we see our y-intercept, 94.241, as well as our coefficient, negative 0.0141. Now with this, what we can do is take a distance to estimate price per square foot. So let's say we find a property that's 1,000 meters away from the nearest train station. So I can plug 1,000 into this X, multiply it by the coefficient, and then add the Y-intercept to get the estimate for the price per square foot. It's as easy as that. Okay, so that's one way in Excel to perform simple linear regression. Now what I want us to do is actually take this chart and move it over just out of the screen. Don't go ahead and delete it yet. And I'll close these formatting options. Another way to perform simple linear regression in Microsoft Excel is to use a couple of formulas. So let's first generate the intercept. And so what I'm gonna say is there's a formula called intercept, and it's gonna ask for two things, the known Y's and the known X's. So in this case, the known Y's are the output the price per square foot. And then I'll put a comma, and then it asks for my known X's, or my inputs. And that's distance to the nearest train station. 
and I'll close that. I'll run the formula and it gives me 94.241. And if we go ahead and look at a regression equation on the chart, we're going to see the same number. It's just a different way of generating it. Now let's generate the coefficient. We're going to use a formula called slope. And then we've got our known y's, which is again is the output, price per square foot. And we're also going to provide the known x's, or the input, distance to the nearest train station in meters. And then we'll close that, run the formula, and again we'll see the same coefficient that we saw on the chart. Just a different way of generating it. Now what we can do to actually use this is say, like we mentioned, let's pretend a property is 1,000 meters away from the nearest train station. So to actually estimate the price, what I can do is say, let's take the distance and multiply it by the coefficient. And I'm going to close that because I want to perform that first, complete that, and then add the intercept. So I'm putting in them in parentheses. And then I'll add the intercept after that. Okay, So that's going to be my estimate for price per square foot when the distance is 1,000 meters from the nearest train station. And so those are a couple of ways to perform simple linear regression in Microsoft Excel. Now, if we want to use multiple inputs and one output, so multiple linear regression, there's a different way we can do that. So what we've got to do, though, is add the data analysis tool pack in Microsoft Excel. And it's not available by default. So let me show you how to add that in. And I'm showing you on Windows. If you're using a Mac, there'll be a link in the video description that shows you how to perform it. It'll be similar. So what I want to do is go to File, and then click on Options. And I'll see these options appear. I'm going to choose the Add-in section. And then down at the bottom, I'll see Manage. And I want to click on Go. I'm managing my Excel add-ins. Then you'll see this small pop-up appear. And you want to make sure you have the Analysis Tool Pack checked. And then once you've got it checked, click OK. And then now when you go to the Data tab, what you should see is this Data Analysis button. That's what we're going to use. So I'll click on that. And there's a bunch of different data analysis techniques in here. But I want to go down and find Regression. Go ahead and click on that. and Choose OK. And now in this pop-up, I've got to fill out some information. What I want to do is provide it my Y range, which is my output, price per square foot. And then I want to give it the input range, house age, distance, and nearby stores. OK, so what I'm going to do to choose the Y range is click on this up arrow. But rather than selecting the entire column, I'm going to choose the header and go all the way down to the end of the data and just choose the cells that have either numeric values in them or the name of the column. And then I'll choose the, click on the arrow to go back to this window. And then I'll choose the input X range. And do something similar rather than selecting the entire column. I'm just going to choose the cells that have data in them, including the header rows. And then I'll go back by clicking this down arrow. And what I want to make sure I do here is click on Labels so that Excel knows the first row that I provide is actually the name for those columns. And what I'm going to do next is keep these other defaults the same. There's other things that you can add to this, normal probability plots, residuals, and things like that. We won't worry about that for right now. So I'm going to leave those defaults the same and click OK. And now what you should see is a new worksheet appear with your output. And I'm going to select all the columns. And then right in between A and B, I'm going to wait for the symbol to appear and double click to fully expand so I can see everything. And then I'll go ahead and zoom in so I can see this a bit better. It gives me a lot of information, which we won't all review now. What I want to focus in on is you'll see the R squared value. Just highlight that. And then you'll also see the intercept and the coefficients. So the intercept is 98.39. And then you'll see the coefficients for each of the three input variables. So what you could do in this case, in our example, is you could 
say for a home that is 30 years old and that is a thousand meters from the nearest train station and that has five nearby stores, what would be the estimated price per square foot? And so all we're going to do is something similar, but instead of having just our intercepts with one coefficient, we're going to have an intercept with three separate coefficients, and we're multiplying each of those coefficients by the input values we're providing, like 30 years, 1,000 meters, 10 nearby stores. So this was just a brief tutorial about how to perform simple and multiple linear regression in Microsoft Excel. Just as a reminder, if you're interested in the sample file or an Excel course, there's links in the video description.